Hello Sudziska, z tej strony Venturi i kontynuujemy poczynanie w Deus Exie. Zgubiłem się w tym miejscu. Chociaż w sumie powinienem się słuchać tych znaczków. Exit. Zatem kierujmy się w stronę Exitu. To chyba tutaj. Tak, Exit. Znalazłem go. Wow. Ale jestem w innym miejscu niż myślałem. Ale to nieważne. Tam przeskoczymy. Hmm, nie w tym momencie. Nie mamy odpowiednich ulepszeń na to. Tutaj mamy fajną beczkę. Rzucę ją pięknie. Wow, to był piękny rzut. Rzucimy kolejną beczkę. Już myślałem, że trafi w tamtego zioma. Ale jednak nie. Ok, zatem to zamkniemy. Niech sobie będzie zamknięte. I gdzie my mamy iść? Hmm. Tam jest jakaś misja. Tutaj co mamy? Piłkę do kosza. Świetnie. Rzućmy ją sobie. <śmiech> Pięknie obrywałem w, w twarz. I w ogóle mnie to nie ruszyło. No. Rzucę? Aha, ciutkę za daleko. No, łap to. Jensen. Chyba dupnie to rzucam, albo za, za blisko. <śmiech> Pięknie się wbiła. Ziup. No. Chodź tu piłko. Świetnie. Rzucę ją. Teraz trafię. Jakim cudem? Hamwa! Już by było. Teraz było za nisko. Teraz się uda. No i za milimetr za wysoko. Hamuwa totalna. A teraz było za nisko. Dobra, zrobimy ułatwienie. Wbiję tu, wbiję tutaj. O. No i dupa. Okej, okay, niech sobie ktoś inny rzuca. Tutaj słyszę jakieś lasery. Dobra, wezmę tą piłkę, rzucę w kogoś. Siema ziom. Hmm, rzucam w tą piłką, nikt nie zwraca na to uwagi. Świetnie. Mi się takie coś podoba. Okej, okay, gdzie my jesteśmy? Szukajmy się na mapie. Hmm. Idźmy załatwić tą misję. Te misje poboczną. Ale jeszcze wbijmy tutaj. No niestety nic ciekawego. Oho, siema ziemuś. Jensen? What are you doing here? I think you know why I'm here, Tyndall. I want Corella's security footage back. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm Seraph Industries' chief of security. I'm pretty sure I can find out about an edited security tape, so don't bullshit me. Ah, oh, shit. Listen, Jensen, I never wanted things to get this bad. I'm not a bad guy. I feel for Corella, I really do. But sometimes, for a good cause, you have to get your hands dirty. Oh. There's a good cause now? Oh, I see. You think I'm selling the stuff, right? I understand why this would seem like an obvious motive, especially to an ex-cop. But trust me, you shouldn't always take things at face value. I'm not selling the neuropazine, I'm giving it away. Giving it away? To who? To the people who need it. You think everyone gets augmented by choice? No. Shit happens. And then what? You're saddled with neuropazine injections for the rest of your life, and that shit costs money. But what choice do you have? Without the drug, you'll die. Rejection syndrome, crippling pain, that just ain't right. So I did the only decent thing to do. I stepped up. I can respect that. But blackmail is still blackmail. Corella wants out, and I'm here to make sure he gets out. Man, this whole thing is becoming way too much trouble. I've even got two local pushers on my back because they say my philanthropic actions are undercutting their profit. 
That's not your only problem. A gun-toting client was waiting for you in your apartment earlier. Really? In my apartment? Shit. The dealers probably sent him. Tell you what. I'll deal with the client later. You take care of the dealers, and the footage is yours. Okay. Okay, I'll help you out. But you better not be playing me. You give me way too much credit, Jensen. I'm a security tech, not a hardened mobster. The two pushers go by the name PG and BK. They hang out in the alley huh. near the basketball court. Yeah, Just make sure they never bother me again. Deal. Okay, zrobimy dwóch dealerów. Nawet ich widziałem. Chciałem z nimi pograć w kosze, ale nie chcieli. Więc muszę się nimi zająć. Mwahaha. Aż wbiję tędy. Hello. You trying to scare me, Skinner? That Cassandra is right on. Without them odds, nothing. Voluntarily amputating themselves and getting augmented. Without them odds, nothing. Nothing. No i co? Gdzie muś? Rzucę. No i prawie się udało. A mowa totalna, nie mogę trafić. Ale spróbuję jeszcze raz. No i dupa. Hello. Without them odds, you nothing. Ha, spiąchy. Yo, someone there? No, no okej. Okay. Mogłem go uśpić szybciej. I zrobię tak. Zrobię. Uśpię go. I walnę go z piąchy. Ale to będzie fajne. Proszę bardzo. A ty zaraz pójdziesz spać. O, proszę bardzo. Okej, okay, zdjęci. I tyle. A ci nawet nie zwrócili na to uwagi. Świetnie. Okej, okay, zatem chowamy broń i idziemy. Aż się napije piwa. No, ciutkę słabe to piwo. Może dlatego, że jego nie było za wiele. Kurde, sikasz, ale ja nic nie widzę. Co to za sikanie bez niczego? Niektórzy tak mają, chyba. Co tam błyska? E, pewnie jakieś popsute światło. Hello! Look, I told you. If you want me to give you that security footage, you're going to have to get those pushers off my ass first. I've taken care of the dealers. Now hand over the footage. Thanks, Jensen. Listen, I know it's not something you did from the bottom of your heart, but still, you saved my ass. Here's your footage. Listen, Tyndall, I know you're trying to do the right thing. But we have to do things by the book, or we'll just have chaos. I'll put you in contact with someone inside Seraf Industries. They may be able to get you neuropathy for those who need it. Seriously? You'd really do that? Wow. I never would have expected this from you, Jensen. I really appreciate this. Tell Karel I'm sorry. No, proszę bardzo, wszystko pięknie załatwione. Wszyscy się cieszą. Taszki ćwierkają. A lampa się psuje. O, się mam. Mam coś tutaj do sprzedania. Sprzedamy sobie tutaj cóż. Pistolet i strzelbę. I amunicję do rewolweru. I pistoletu. I kuszy nie, bo kuszę na pewno chcę mieć. Bo kusza jest zajebista. A kuszy na razie nie znajdziemy. Trzeba na nią poczekać. Nie, fajne telefony. Nie sądziłem, że jeszcze w, w, w tych czasach, w 2027, że będą takie telefony. A, tu jest telefon, e-mail, internety. A, to spoko, to, to taki smartfon. Bardziej niż budka telefoniczna. Pogadamy sobie tutaj z nim. Hello. Did you get it yet? Adam, please. You have to get that security footage back. I got the footage. You owe me one, Tim. Yeah, you got that right, Jensen. 
I mean, thank you so much. This is my life I just got back. Listen, I got a hold of a weapon mod. It's not much, Ooh, but I figured jinky. a guy in your line of work could use it. Listen, I know you were trying to do a good thing, and I respect that. But you should do it through proper channels. Next time you might not get this lucky. Yeah, you're right, Adam. I know you're right. Listen, thanks again. No, oh, spoko. Spoko się. A teraz kierujemy się do tej tutaj pani. Która jest dosyć zabawna. Ej, znalazła hot doga. Do takiego całkowicie sprawnego. Well, shit. If it ain't the captain himself. Mr. Seraphim fixed you up good, ain't he? Give you new set of glasses and everything. Damn. <laughs> How you doing, Letitia? Didn't think I'd see you walking this boulevard anytime soon, that's for sure. Not after what happened six months ago. People said you's down for the count. People tend to underestimate me. <laughs> you and me both, Captain. You and me both. Uh, you, uh, got any credit you could spare? Hmm, postaw piwo, inne niż gorący diabeł. Gdzie ja mogę znaleźć taki alkohol? How about you give me some information, and then we'll see. Oh, damn, Captain. You ain't no cop no more. Why you gotta insist on using them rules? Because it's my money this time, not the department's. You want it, you better give me something that's worth it. Yeah, yeah, I guess. So what you wanna know? It's been a while since I walked the beat. Where would a less than exemplary citizen go these days if he needed to acquire some unlicensed firepower? Well now, I here there might be a gun seller or two around town. But an adventuring man, especially one fixed with some of them fancy techno limbs Mr. Serif makes, he might be able to acquire a few more if he's willing to go the extra mile. Hmm. Zapłaćmy, nie wiem ile. You're almost a bank tish. This better be worth it. Well now, what I suggest in here ain't exactly legal. And you being an ex-cop and all, I hope you won't take this the wrong way. But everybody knows the best weapons in towns are locked up inside the police station. Yes, and that would be very helpful if I were still a cop. But I'm not. So I don't have the computer codes needed to open the armory's door. Yes, but Tish here does. I overheard two rookies discussing it while I was warming myself by the trash can fire and back at the station. They was bad mouthing that new boy Officer Nice Field for choosing patriotism as a password. Said it was no wonder he was being fast tracked. <laughs> Whatever that means. Ooh, jinky. Fine. I'll bite. Tell me about this extra mile. You hear about the protest at Lim today? The one ass was about to get all violent to Mr. Sarah's factory stole all the news. What about it? Rumor has it somebody wanted to make sure it got to Miss Eliza's attention. Maybe had a shooter in a high place somewhere, looking down on the Lim Plaza, aiming to turn things up a notch. Didn't happen, cause the factory, but you never know. They might have left something behind. No, oh, Jinky. Gee, Captain, that all you got? I was you. I'd look for some bright lights coming out of the windows of a boarded up gas station nearby. And a bodyguard, maybe, hanging around. Okay, that's them. Hmm, to search. Hmm, broń na stray ulicy. Ukryte ścieżki. I might need to do a little trespassing soon. Maybe get inside some places where I'd rather not be seen going in. You being kind of vague, Captain. Nawet nie mam pojęcia, ile już mam w tej chwili hajsu. You got that right. What I do know, though, is that most people tend to look down, not up. And even when looking down, they don't necessarily think about what's under their feet. If a person ain't too squeamish about getting dirty, 
they might be able to get inside one or more sensitive areas in the city, especially if they armed themselves ahead of time with the right information. Shit. Now, I was not advising you to being an organ <sighs> But if yeah. this trespassing you yeah. needing to do happens to be inside D row street gang territory, then you definitely don't want to be seen going in. Because the ballers would sooner rip me apart than ask questions. Exactly. You being an AUG now and all. But some of them old buildings over there are real crumbly up near the top. Fire escape's still okay though. So maybe you find a hole, get you inside, if you goes up. Keeping my fingers crossed the whole time that the building doesn't fall apart on my way down. Oh, they stronger than you think. But it's true, you might want to invest in some of Mr. Sarah's falling down augmentation before you goes in. Cause I'm pretty sure them elevators don't work. Okay, zapłacimy jeszcze tysiaka. I was just guessing here, Captain. But since you ain't a policeman no more, maybe it's a bit hard to get you inside that police station someday. Oh, to him should I Especially when things are being classified. There is a door I know about though. Connects to the sewers. Only thing is, it's usually locked. Hate to tell you this, Tish, but that information isn't worth the admission price you're charging. That's cause I ain't giving you the code yet. Jeez, I'm captain, have some patience. Twenty-five ninety-nine. Two, five, nine, nine. Genki. <laughs> Interesting thing about the sewers in the city, Captain. Some of them pass right under the police station, but that don't stop some people from hiding things down there. What kind of things? I was not sure, but a bunch of them walls been patched over pretty quick. Man like you might be able to find out why, especially if he's fixed up with some of the magic eyes that sees through stuff. Mr. Seraph has to make eyes like that, don't you think? No, I'm Robby Takisush. Nastroje ulice. You've always had a good feel for this city, Tish. What's the mood on the street these days? Oh, things ain't looking good, Captain. People losing their jobs, their homes, locking everything they own into those uh, garage door storage units around town, hoping nobody breaks in and steals stuff. Mr. Seraf gonna save us? He better do it soon. Or what? Not sure. Just feels like this whole city's waiting to explode. Especially in the malleys behind the gas station. Most of the time, you's fine walking there, long as you don't cause no trouble. But you do something wrong? Well, cops and punks both trigger happy these days. Spoko. I wish I could offer you a drink, Tish. But I know you only like Hop Devil. Oh, that's all right, Captain. It's the thought that counts. Okay. <laughs> I think I've got all the information I need right now, Tish. Maybe next time. I'll be right here waiting for you, Captain. Dobra, spoko ziemuś. <laughs> spoko. Spoko. Letitia. <laughs> Ile ja mam hajsu? O mój Boże, tylko 160 osiem kredytów. Jaka kurde dusi grosz. Tam jest hajs, ale nie mam do niego dostępu. Miałbym, gdybym miał lepsze... Hmm, ...szczepy. Powodujące, że wyżej skaczę. Albo jakąś skrzynkę znaleźć, ale tutaj ciężko. Mówię co, w szczepach. Skorzystajmy z jakiegoś. Tutaj mamy... Hmm... ...osobę bryzgów. Widzenie przez ściany. Gdzieś tutaj było z siłą. O, to się może przydać. O, i to się przyda. Przybijanie ścian. Będziemy mogli sobie bez problemu, wykorzystując jedną bateryjkę, no, rozwalać sobie ściany, które są kruche. O, co my mamy tutaj? Jakieś implanty bezprzewodowa komunikacja? Wi-Fi w mózgu? Spoko. O, aż wybiłem do siedziby Sarifa. A, tutaj coś może jest? Zobaczmy. O, tu jakieś impra była. 
<laughs> Slave to socks. A tu skarpety wywieszone. Nice. Co my tu mamy? Kolejną siedzibę. Kolejny... Kolejny ten magazyn. Hello. Thanks for at least talking to me. Most people just walk on by like I'm invisible. They've made it practically illegal to be poor in this city. Bastard Sarah's buying up whole blocks uh, and upscaling them. Where the hell are we gonna go? California? The whole West Coast is gonna be underwater in another few years. Bastard Sarah's buying up whole blocks. Okay, but you should have told us. no, nikt sobie tam gada. Tutaj coś mogłoby być, ale chyba i tak nie ma tam nic w tym kontenerze ze śmieciami. Ciekawa bryka, ale tutaj nikt nie używa samochodów. No bo są drogi zablokowane. And shit. No fajny sklepik. Co to jest? Hefe Kroken. U, tutaj coś jest. Chyba. Albo i nie. Nie, nic nie ma. Szkoda. No to jest ten. Tu garażu. E, siedziby. Sarifa. Dla pracowników. O, pobawię się z nim. Niech śpi jeszcze głębiej. <laughs> Okej, okay, to było ostre. Hello. Niech sobie śpi. To był taki mocno głęboki sen. Hmm, może teraz twie, ten skierujemy się w stronę kliniki Limp. Hmm, zobaczmy jeszcze ten. Okej, okay, spraw jeszcze ten akcję. Związane z posterunkiem i tym sam terrorystą. To się zrobi później. A teraz wbijemy tutaj. Ah, Mr. Jensen. David Serov told me you'd be dropping by. I've just been reviewing the test results we received on you last week. Should I start rolling up my sleeves? Surprisingly, no. I see no trace of glial tissue buildup in any of your charts. It's been six months, Doc. Shouldn't I be on neuropazine shots by now? One would think, but these test results show no signs of implant rejection. If anything, the bond between tissue and electrodes seems to be getting stronger. So I'm free to go? Well, Mr. Serif did ask me to discuss another topic with you. You are aware that several precautionary measures had to be put into place during your first surgery? Not all of my implants were switched on, I know. The damage caused by the hematoma had to be taken into account. Your brain needed time to recover, to get used to the mechanical neural processors and turn them on naturally over time. Cut to the chase, Doc. What does Seraph want? He feels that you might be ready to speed up the activation process using special software known as Praxis Kits. You mean I don't have to wait for my augmentations to kick in naturally anymore? You can, if you prefer. But Mr. Seraph hmm, did make a generous donation to them in your name, Levelowanie. thus ensuring that Praxis Swaniaki. software linked to your particular neuro enhancements would always be available to you and you alone. Oh, to dzięki. Please, take a look. Ale jest problem. Ja chyba nie mam hajsu na to. Uuu, Typhoon. Aj, mam hajs. 5 tysięcy kredytów? A, żeby kupić sobie zestaw Praxis, który kosztuje 5 tysięcy. Świetnie. Kupię sobie jeszcze hipostymulant, który się przyda, jeśli będę chciał, no, well, mieć więcej Jensen. punktów zdrowia. Aha, okej. Okay. Teraz sobie zobaczymy strzepy. Mamy aż dwa. I szczerze nie mam pojęcia, co sobie tutaj wybrać. Mamy tutaj 
Przewodnik, radar nie jest potrzebny, wyostrzenie wzroku, widzenie, widzenie psi ściany się nie przyda. O, to mi może się przydać. System lądowania ICAR. Że robi się wokół nas taka specyficzna, specyficzne pole siłowe, które powoduje, że mamy taki niby spadochron. Czy możemy z problemu mu wylądować z dowolnej wysokości? Is it true they stop your heart and the machine does your breathing? More or less. I know it sounds a little hair raising, but we do it every day, several times over. It's a very safe procedure. Will I feel any pain or anything? It gets done through your IV needle. You'll be asked to count backwards, and the next thing you know, you'll be opening your eyes and the procedure will be over. Wow. Will I dream? Not while you're under, but you might afterward as you wake up. Wow. Uh, sorry, I was just... Looking at that scar on your head. Did you get that before or after the surgery? This is my first visit. I'm a little nervous. This is my first visit. I'm a little nervous. If you're here for some work, please go to the counters. If you're here for some work, please Spoko. go to the counters. Spoko, ziom. Jeszcze sobie tutaj pochodzę. O, tutaj jest jeden z tych... No... Unikalnych e-booków. O, a tutaj mogę wbić. Komputer! What? Adam, what? To coś na nasz temat? Adam. Brak alergii. Historia rodziców nieznana. Adopcja wieku 5 lat. Brak dokumentów. Potrzeba pełnej wymiany klatki piersiowej i lewego ramienia, prawe ramię i nogi wymienione na prośby pracodawcy, autoryzacja na podstawie kon... Wow! Spoko. Czyli my tutaj byliśmy modyfikowani, ulepszani. Nice. Ale co, to, to tyle? Nic tutaj ciekawego nie ma jeszcze do czytania? Hmm, no to wychodzi. Jeszcze tutaj popatrzę, tutaj popatrzę. Oho! Ogromny słoik! Słój proenergetyczny. Cyber blasta. Double blasta. <śmiech> Suchary się robią same. Chłe, chłe. No, wychodzę. Dziękuję, było miło. Hello. My first surgery. It's expensive, but you gotta look at it as an investment in the future. Have you had a lot of work done here in Detroit? This is the first time I've actually had the guts to walk in the door. Spoko. Hello. Did you hear about that hostage situation over in Milwaukee Junction? Humanity first denies all responsibility for it. Protesting is not against the law. I know that. No i cóż, ludziska, to zajęło nam jakieś pół godziny. Adam, are you Spoko. finished at the clinic? For now. Good. Right now I want to know who that corpse is. Head over to the police station and get his neural hub. And Adam, if you can't talk your way in, consider making a strategic retreat. There's got to be another entrance in the side of the building. No spoko. Co to okay, ludziska? To by było na tyle, jeśli chodzi o ten odcinek. Mam nadzieję, że Wam się podobało. Jeśli tak, zostawcie łapkę w górę. Zatem trzymajcie się, do zobaczyska i widzimy się w kolejnym odcinku. I możliwe, że od przyszłego odcinka będzie więcej akcji. Bo tutaj było, no, ogólnie łażenie, gadanie i tak dalej. Ale jak dla mnie było spoko. Można było się dowiedzieć wielu ciekawych rzeczy. Zatem, okej, okay, trzymajcie się. Bye, bye. I cześć, do następnego razu.